Hey, I'm Todd. Thanks for choosing to watch my video. And if you would subscribe it, like it, all that stuff, you know, uh, that'd be great. Otherwise, enjoy the video, and I hope it uh, gives you the information you need and is helpful to you. Take care. So I do get a lot of comments with people saying I have saved them a lot of money, and I do get questions, hey, can I send you some money somehow? And now there is a way, if you so choose, called the Fan Funding. You'll find it on the channel page right there. Two thousand five Toyota Camry you're gonna go to the water pump and replace it down there. Gonna remove the uh, passenger side front wheel and uh, drain some coolant. Let's get her done. I think it's uh, 21 millimeter lug nuts. You wanna jack up your vehicle after you break the wheel lug nuts loose. Break them loose a turn or two. You take the hubcap off. And then you go ahead and jack up your vehicle a little bit and support it so you're safe and take the wheel off the rest of the way. And we gotta get to the serpentine belt. inner shield with two 10 millimeter bolts holding it in place. We got a push pin in here. Just got to push the center piece in and it'll release. Well, that's too far but push that in and it'll release and you can pull it out. It works backward, but it does work. So here we are inside here, access here. <clears throat> I believe we're going to be uh, doing something with the shock over here. <clears throat> Now checking out the belt tension system, it's this little shock absorber, kind of a pain. I'm going to pull on the belt and you can see it move, I believe. I'm going to go ahead and start draining the coolant. It's down here is a drain. And we do have a bucket down there, so now we get coolant draining in the bucket. This vehicle is filled with a vehicle factory filled with Toyota Super Long Life coolant. All right, got the coolant draining. I got my 19 millimeter socket and uh, kind of a long arm ratchet. I'm gonna go down here. You got a 19 millimeter uh, head on here for the ten the tensioner for the serpentine belt. And we can push down on it slowly and also maybe grab the belt and lift up on it here. And then we can uh, get some looseness on the belt and take it off.
I like to take the belt all the way off, but for sure get it out of the way of the water pump. You get coolant on the belt and it'll most likely squeak. There's your belt, bell bolts. I've got a tool, there's two holes in this pulley. I've got a tool I can hold that in place, but you might want to actually try to break these 12 millimeter bolts loose while the belt is on before you take the belt off. Sorry, I forgot that step here, but like I said, I have the right tool. And so you can do that. And also with the tensioner, as you saw, kind of me taking off, you can also apply more pressure uh, with the belt tensioner and maybe that'll help hold the water pump fully in place by going the other way and making the belt tighter. So just a couple uh, thoughts there. So now we're gonna take off the four 12 millimeter bolts for the water pump pulley. We'll be taking the alternator off, uh, 14 millimeter bolt there, and probably another 14 millimeter bolt somewhere underneath here. I'm sure. All right. Get the water pump pulley off and get the alternator started to come off. This is my first time doing one of these, and the instructions are, they don't necessarily go in the right steps for me. So. Not even sure why I have to take the wheel well off. Might do some editing in this video. So, my next step is to take off the 14 millimeter bolt here, the 12 millimeter bolt below that you can't see, and uh, lift this alternator up and lay it off to the side. I did break the bolts loose already. So, again, everything is left to loosen, right to tighten. Just push this tab and release this. Uh, this is from the air conditioning down below. And get a pry bar in here, probably try and pry the uh, alternator free from the engine. There's one other connector right here. Again, just push on the tab and release it. Might use a little bungee cord and hold this off to the side just to be sure it stays over there. It doesn't roll off or take this, might take the 10 millimeter bolt out and it'll move a little farther over for you. Okay, now we have nice room to access the water pump. Little bracket here with some wiring on these two bolts right here. Again, you really should have taken these water pump bolts out before you take the serpentine belt off. Unless you have the special tool or you can make a tool out of a wood and a couple of bolts because it's got two holes here to hold it in place. <clears throat> so we finally did get the uh, 12 millimeter bolts off. That's one of the worst water pump pulley setups I've ever seen I had to use uh, actually the bolt holes for the water pump as well with my special tool because it was interfering 
with the other bolt so I'm trying to take off so but here we are we got it so we're just going to be taking off 10 millimeter nuts and bolts bolt nut bolt Put a bolt up here nut back here probably five or six we'll just take those off and move our drain bucket over underneath the water pump So here's a shot on the Toyota Camry for the water pump at the bottom. This is like the one reason I can think of maybe to take this bottom cover off. Otherwise, I don't know why I'm taking the tire off. If this even makes it in the video. Because uh, yeah, it didn't make sense to take the tire off and take the shield off. But this bolt might be the reason why to get to it. You probably get to it from above. But since I already took this off, that's what I'm doing. So taking that last bolt off right there. And then you can see there's uh, probably the crankshaft wiring harness does go into there. Try and carefully take that out of the little hole. Just kind of a friction fit right there. So we'll try and carefully take that out. bolts loose should be able to kind of tap this a little bit and free it up there we go it's free
water pumps out. You can probably disconnect this right here. You can probably disconnect this to uh, give yourself some freedom. Take a baby screwdriver of some kind of lift up on this little tab here. It should slide off after that. Come on now, up. Also, here's a look at the uh, connector down below. You can kind of see that. So we'll clean this all up with a wire brush, a wire wheel. Scrape it with a plastic scraper of something, get all this silicone off here, and we'll prepare the new water pump with some silicone. So this is the old water pump, but you want to fill the groove here with silicone, and then uh, install it onto the vehicle, and then bolt it in place. Really not too much to it. We're in the process of bolting this back in place, and we're going to let this sit for a couple hours with the silicone set up. Might be a good idea to let you do the same. Uh, there's some concerns about maybe uh, coolant leaking if you don't let the uh, silicone set up. That's just an opinion that we follow here at this shop.